Yo, what's up fam and welcome back to the channel and if this is your first time on the channel, what's up fam? Welcome to the channel. I know it's been a minute since I uploaded, but today I want to talk about something that I've been using for the past few months now. I'm a little bit late to the party, but it's a brand new MIDI controller for me and I wanted to tell you guys why I like it so much. Let's talk about it. Okay, so I really slept on this and so I'm doing this video in hopes that you don't sleep on it too. This is the Microlab Smart MIDI Controller by Arturia. And um, yeah, this, is, this has been my uh, go-to keyboard for the past couple of months while I'm here at home in my home studio and um, just around the house. I wanna talk about why I like this so much and why I think this might be the best budget MIDI controller or MIDI keyboard of 2020. All right, so first of all, I want to give a special shout out to Arteria for sponsoring this video and sending me the Microlab uh, 25 key keyboard. And please know this, you guys, even though Arteria did send me these, everything that I say and all the opinions that I drop in this video are 100% my own. If it sucks, I'm going to tell you it sucks. And if it's dope, I'm going to tell you how it is. And that goes for pretty much everything that I talk about on this channel. So now that we got that out the way, let's talk about the Microlab uh, by Arturia. So in the tech community, when you hear the word budget, I think everybody's brain automatically goes to the word cheap, not the best quality, low end, very low cost. And while that might be true in some cases, here on this channel, we use the word budget to describe the best value for the least amount of money that you can pay. Which is why I'm starting to consider this the best budget mobile MIDI keyboard of 2020. The value that you get from this micro lab is actually really, really dope. And not to mention that this keyboard actually holds its own weight, both literally and figuratively. So let's talk about what you get. And by the way, I'll be putting my personal affiliate link down in the description to where you can get your hands on buying a micro lab by Arturia. All right, so for just under 80 bucks at the time of this video, you get in the box, first of all, the keyboard itself, which is, uh, this is actually pretty sturdy and we'll talk about that in a hot second. And you get Analog Lab Lite, which is something else we'll talk about in this video. You get the Bitwig Studio 8-track, so that's the light version of Bitwig. And you get a Grand Piano Model D VST from UVI. That was a lot to say. <laughs> so just in software alone, that's about an $80 value. Just with the software that they include inside the box. That's, that's crazy. So let's talk about the keyboard itself. The Arturia Micro Lab actually comes in three different colors. First, you got the orange, you have a blue, and you have a black colorway. I have the orange, but I really couldn't choose between orange and black, so I got both. So one of the dopest things about this, y'all know how I feel about cables and hassling around with cables and trying to remember to bring them. The dope thing about this is that the cable is actually built in. The part that they don't show you on the other reviews is this actually is a magnet, so it kind of snaps in there with a magnet a little bit. But yeah, this pops in there and it has this rubberish uh, casing around it. And it not only protects the, the keyboard, but it also holds the, the cable inside. So you just peel the cable out just like that and it's already attached. And this cable is pretty long, so you won't have any problems trying to reach your devices. Um, so it wraps around the whole circumference, you know, the little indention part of the, the protective uh, rubberized casing. So I thought that that was pretty dope because I don't feel like keeping up with any cables, trying to remember to pack them or try to remember to bring them or try to store them somewhere where, you know, I got a bunch of cables wrapped up and tied up into each other, trying to unravel it. You know, I just put it on back. And we solid baby ready to go pack this up into a backpack this is 25 keys and i do want to talk about some of the things that i'm not really too fond about but we'll get into that in a minute so we're talking portable lightweight and durability it's a it's about the same size as the x key air and length um this is nowhere near as thin it is kind of thick on this side however it's thick for a reason which is one of my favorite favorite features of this keyboard. So I mentioned the X key air and the X key air serves its purpose perfectly when I'm out on the go, traveling, when I wanna travel light. However, this keyboard has a key bed that is extremely satisfying and very refreshing. 
Remember that thickness that I was telling you about? So this key bed actually has some really good travel. This actually features the same exact key bed as its older brother, the Key Lab by Arturia. Minus all the bells and whistles, this will actually get the job done. Like I said, coming from the X Key Air, these keys are extremely refreshing. And the closest I felt to having a full fledged, larger scale keyboard, uh, just in a smaller compact uh, form factor. You got premium keys in a 25 key compact design. I will go over some of the buttons that, that are featured here, but I kind of feel like it's self-explanatory and a bunch of people have already done videos on how these function. But I will tell you a couple of different tips and tricks that I haven't really seen anybody talk about on the internet um, on how to use this and functionality inside your DAW or the software that's included. And we'll talk about that too. All right, so that's enough of me gushing over the keyboard. What you wanna know is, does it work with the iPad? And how does it work with the software included and in other software that you already have? So first things first, it does work with the iPad, but you will need one of these. This is the Apple Camera Connection Kit, and uh, it just has a regular USB input and the lightning output. So yeah, if we just unravel this, unravel this cable, plug it into the USB, and plug it in just like that. You can already see that the lights, the lights down here powered up, and you have power straight from the iPad. No external power needed, just plug and play. We are all set to go. Even in Beatmaker 3, let's open up a session. It's plug and play, no extra setup needed. We can go into the settings. And you can see that Beatmaker 3 automatically uh, recognizes just plugging it in. So it works with the iPad, no problem. Next, let's unplug it from the iPad and then plug it straight into the laptop. And I wanna talk a little bit about Analog Lab, which actually comes with the MIDI controller. I actually have Analog Lab 4, which is the full version of what comes in the box. It has over 6,000, almost 7,000 presets. Analog Lab 4, the full version. And first, what Analog Lab 4 is as a library of Arturia's collection of a bunch of vintage synths as well as some presets created specifically by Arturia the whole team of Arturia and you know the analog lab light comes with I think 10% of what comes in the full version which is still still a steal still still a steal crazy all right so so what I'm going to do is show you the standalone version of Analog Lab 4 and how this plays and how expressive it is as well as how I can control it with just this keyboard. All right, so now that we're all plugged up, what well, the first thing we're going to do is uh, connect our MIDI controller. Right now it's not making any sounds because we are not connected. So what we're going to go into at the bottom is uh, MIDI channel is selected to all. And then change the generic MIDI controller to the actual micro lab. And there we go, we got sound. <laughs> Dope stuff. All right, so something that's new inside of Analog Lab 4 that wasn't in the uh, previous versions of Analog Lab is that they added the pigments library. So you have your instrument, you have your instrument types, styles, and you know, just different banks. So here's where you'll be able to filter your different instrument styles and... So I'm gonna just play, some, play with some of my favorites. So, so one of the things that I really like about this is that you can hold down the shift button and you can select the octave up button to go to the next sound. And you can see that every time I press that octave button without even touching the laptop, I'm scrolling through some of my favorite presets. So.
So remember the thickness that I was talking about on this key bed. Uh, this key bed is very refreshing. Um, it's very close to what I can feel coming from my Akai Advance 49. Um, actually, it's a actually I would say it's a little bit better than the key bed here. The key travel on on this keyboard is isn't really like anything else that I felt on this uh, on in this price range. Alright, so one of the things that I didn't really like, I'm still kind of not a fan of, is these touch strips over here. So they do serve a du dual purpose, which I'll get into in a second. But I wasn't really a fan of the touch strips, but it's starting to grow on me. So over here to the far right of the touch strip, the right touch strip is the modulation. That is the mod wheel. And you can hear the vibrato inside of that, uh, inside of that instrument. As I go up and down. And then you have the pitch pitch wheel. Um, and because I use the pitch wheel a lot, that was one of the biggest things that I wasn't really a fan of. Um, it, it's just gonna take a lot of getting used to playing that playing with that pitch wheel Yeah, it's gonna take a lot of getting used to but just like any instrument that I'm learning it does take a, a little learning curve to get used to that pitch wheel um, Well, not even pitch wheel. It's a pitch touch strip But one of the other functionalities of the touch strip is that you can also hold down shift and you can actually scroll the menu if you can look on the screen and see that when I touch down on the pitch wheel I can actually scroll and tap on this uh, on this pitch wheel uh, without once again without even touching the laptop it's uh, scrolling through my software and also um, on the right hand side that was uh, scrolling through on the on the left hand side on the right hand side I'm scrolling through the actual presets and once I've scrolled through, found something I like, hit tap, and then I've selected it, and then I can let go of the shift key. And that's something I haven't really heard anybody else talk about as far as this Microlab keyboard <laughs> on the internet. Alright, so those were my initial thoughts about the Microlab. You, after using it for about two months, this has actually been my around the house, quick carry, quick pull out um, keyboard for the laptop and you know just different software that I've been using. If you want to see more videos on how I've been using this to make sound packs and you know just even make beats, if you want to see me make more beats on this, let me know in the comments. Um, if you have any other questions about this keyboard, the Microlab by Arturia, let me know that in the comments as well. And I might even do a giveaway for one of these uh, Microlabs. Of course it will be one brand new, I'll buy a separate one, brand new, untouched. So, uh, yeah, because you're not getting these. These are mine. But that's pretty much been my thoughts on the Micro Lab by Arturia and some of my first initial things that I've been doing. Um, again, let me know if you guys want to see more content using these and how I use them with the iPad and on the desktop. I'm Brandon Rico. Thanks again for rocking with me. Thanks for rocking with the channel. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you rock with the video, hit that like button for me. And consider sharing it if you know somebody who might rock with this too. And if you didn't like it, go ahead and hit that dislike button if you're one of those. Once again, I'm Brandon Rico. This is the Micro Lab by Arturia and Analog Lab 4. See y'all in the next video. Peace.